Hello, what we're looking at here today is a quite old hand wash basin. This particular one's probably about 70, maybe even 80 years old. And the um, tap that's uh, attached to it is, is obviously the same age. Now what we're going to talk about today is the maintenance of these old type of taps. You may need to, um, from time to time, repair the spindle on there, or more commonly, if the tap's dripping, you need to change the, um, the tap washer and maybe reseat the tap as well. Now the, these type of taps uh, need to be uh, uh, dismantled in three stages. Uh, we're going to talk about stages one and two in this particular video and in the next video we'll talk about stage three which is the more uh, difficult problem. So stage one is to remove the tap handle here. Stage two is to remove the tap bonnet. So going back to stage one to remove the tap handle. On modern type um, taps you'll have a cap at the top here which you'll prise out which will re reveal a screw uh, on top of the spindle. You remove the screw and then the tap handle should just lift off. Now on these type of older taps do not try and remove this cap here because it will damage and break. On these type it's held with a small grub screw at the side here if you can see that. Now I've loosened this one off just to show you, so there's the screw there, it's a very tiny screw. So when you've taken that out, just put it to one side and uh, make sure you don't lose it of course. Now the next thing to do is to pull off the tap handle. Now some of these have been on for quite a number of years and can be very difficult to pull off. So what we're going to use here is the tap handle pusher, which is this tool here. Now I've done a, a video previously to show how this works in detail, but basically there's two plates with a bolt through there, push that into the gap between the top of the bonnet and the underneath of the tap and then you screw this bolt down obviously using a spanner so I'll just screw that now you feel it getting tighter it's pushing up on the handle and do you see that now that, that popped it off so that's the, that's the first stage so that you'd need a tap handle pusher to do that now the next job will be to remove the what you call the tap bonnet this part here now this unscrews looking downwards it, it uh, turns anti-clockwise now we don't want to be using uh, things like mole grips and uh, water pump pliers on here with teeth because we are going to damage it so what we're going to use today is uh, what we call a strap or a bower wrench it's got a nice soft rubber strap on it like that and how, how it works is it'll, it'll go to quite a quite a large diameter you place it over the bonnet like that squeeze it tight and then hold that onto the handle with your with your thumb there get hold of the spout and push it that way and it will free it very nicely and then you screw the bonnet off That'll lift off and then of course there's no there's no damage or marks around here. I know this one's damaged anyway but um, this one's obviously um, quite an old tap. So the next, the third stage is to remove the headgear. Now this is the particularly difficult problem on these type of sinks because um, unlike modern sinks these taps are set into a square hole not a round hole into the sink itself and they've been set into um, putty when they were originally assembled and this putty now has gone rock hard so any movement of that tap left or right even a couple of millimeters will split the sink and that will be the end of the sink it can be a disaster so that's stage one and two in this video and i will show you in uh, the next uh, video how to un safely un undo this um, tap headgear